Hey everybody, it's Mr. Matthew here for our From Molecules to Organisms video number four. And in this video, we're going to specifically be talking about the cell cycle. And so I'm going to talk to you about how the cell cycle is connected to the growth, maintenance, and repair of multicellular organisms. And we'll get into a little bit of the nitty gritty that happens within the cell cycle, such as the different phases of the cell cycle uh, up to a certain point. And hopefully you'll get a good foundation to describe, you know, when you might see the cell cycle or what's, the ma what's happening in the major uh, steps of the cell cycle, and hopefully that will be useful moving forward. So here we go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to construct an explanation using evidence for why the cell cycle is necessary for growth, maintenance, and repair of multicellular organisms. So the first thing we want to do is we want to describe the four phases of the cell cycle. And so the four main phases of the cell cycle are growth, and we're going to see that in G1 phase. So once a cell is formed, it's going to go through this initial growth phase, and it's just that. The cell is going to get larger during this phase, and it's going to begin to do normal cellular activity. The second phase, we see S phase. And during the S phase, what we're going to note is that we're going to have DNA replication or DNA synthesis. And what that means is we're going to make a copy of all of the DNA that is in the cell so that we go from having a single copy of all of the genes to two copies of all the genes. This will be important later when we go back and look at what happens in the M phase in more detail. But this is when DNA replicates. And then we go through a G2 phase. This is the second growth phase, which is really a preparation for mitosis. What that means is that during this time, you're going to see the duplication of a lot of the organelles that will ultimately be divided when a cell divides. And so you're going to see an increase in the number of organelles during this time. And then lastly, we have what's known as the M phase, which is also referred to as mitosis. At the very end of mitosis, not shown in this diagram, is something called cytokinesis or division of the cytoplasm. And usually we just incorporate that as part of the M phase as the last little part of making a cell divide in half. So when we look at this over time, what we'll see is this models the major events of the cell cycle going through multiple cycles. And so what we'll see here is you go from a small cell to a large cell, and when it gets to a certain size, that cell divides and becomes smaller. Again, the cell grows and divides and gets now to smaller. And each time on these lower portions, we're actually making two copies of the cell. They're only showing one copy here on the uh, the time of one and two and somewhere in between four and five, but you actually see the two of them. And this would model sort of how, how cell size is graphed versus time. And so in this particular instance, you go from a single cell and you're doubling the cell number each time. So you're going to end up with an organism that has many more cells in it. So now that we've looked at this, let's talk in more detail about the separation of chromosomes that takes place. So I think we pretty much have nailed when the cell grows. In terms of the maintenance, uh, maintenance is mostly during the G1 and the S phase. And we'll get into repair in just a minute, but let's talk about the chromosomal level and model those chromosomes. So what we can see here is this is an instance that happened during M phase. So these three pictures are during the midst of our M phase or mitosis. You do not need to know the specific phases of mitosis, but you should know that there are these separate division steps that go from when you leave G2 and when you get two separate cells at the beginning of G1. So in this particular instance, you can see that this is modeling a cell that has six chromosomes in it. And what we'll see is that during prometaphase, these are all, all, sort of all over the place. They get organized in metaphase, and then they get pulled apart. But what I want you to note is that these little structures here, as they're getting pulled apart, what we're seeing is these are each two copies of the same information. So even though there's six chromosomes, each one of them has two copies of the same information. You can envision this being like two copies of textbooks that have been sort of glued together, if you will. Now, when you have two copies of the same textbook, do you have any additional information? The answer is no. Do you have any more pages? Absolutely. You have lots and lots of pages, but you have two copies. And so what that means is you could pull them apart and bring one of them home and keep the other in school, and then you'd have the same information in two places. And that's actually what we see here during the middle of this M phase is we go from having these two textbooks glued together, and then metaphase, we organize it so that we know the orientation. And then during anaphase, what we do is we pull them apart so that we can send one textbook to one location 
and one to the other. Each location is going to get the exact same information by doing this. And if you count up these textbooks, you'll see that we went from having two stuck together and we had you know, six, is, six of those. And now we've got individual textbooks and we're going to have six textbooks at home and six textbooks at school, but we're going to have the same information in two locations. And so that's what we see when we look at the separation of chromosomes and the maintenance of chromosome number over generations. All right, so now that we've gone through this, we're gonna go through this last phase and that's gonna be called cytokinesis. And cytokinesis is that division of the cytoplasm. And so in this case, what you'll see is both of these two cells look identical because the cells are gonna be divided, the same information, same cytoplasm, same number of organelles in both. So the question is, how do we model the major events of cell cycle, including the separation of cell content? We, we've we talked about the major events, the separation of the chromosomes on the previous slide, but it's important to know that we gotta divide the cytoplasm. And for this, what we're gonna see is the membrane is gonna be pinching off and separating these two out into two separate locations. It is also important to note that uh, if you're looking in a plant cell or a, any other cell that has a cell wall, you're going to have to have an additional step in order to establish the cell wall that separates these two. So this would represent a fairly simple animal-like cell that is going to be separating equal contents without dealing with that cell wall. But cytokinesis is that division of that cytoplasm. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to pause and think, how might the formation of new cells be part of maintaining homeostasis after an injury. So let's say you have a cut on your skin and now you're going to try to maintain homeostasis and you're gonna use mitosis as that. So what I want you to do is I'd like you to pause and think. All right, so hopefully what you came up with is that Cell division is important with repair of multicellular organisms. So when we looked at, um, in the previous video, I talked about the formation of blood clots as a result of a wound and how that was actually part of positive feedback. So when you have damage to a tissue and some cells are destroyed, maybe you get a cut, you get a wound, what's gonna happen is originally you are going to cause the wound to be healed. But then over time, your body is going to go and it's gonna make new cells to replace the destroyed or damaged tissue. And the way that it's going to make those new cells is going to be through the process of the cell cycle and dividing the healthy cells around it to form those new healthy cells. So it's important to note that the, in order to form those new cells, you're gonna end up going through G1, S, G2, and M phases in order to make additional cells that can be used in that repair. Hopefully that makes a little sense, and obviously there's a lot of details and we're glossing over those, but you get the idea that cell division is a key part of repairing damage that occurs in a multicellular organism. All right, so this one's pretty straightforward. Hopefully you could construct an explanation using evidence for why cell cycle is necessary for growth, for maintenance, for repair of multicellular organisms. You should be able to model the major events of the cell cycle, specifically cell growth and DNA replication, talking about your G1, G2, S phases there, separation of chromosomes that happened during, during mitosis and how that helps you to maintain homeostasis by maintaining the same chromosome number of time, and also the separation of cell contents that happens at the end of M phase during cytokinesis. Again, specific gene control mechanisms or specific details of the phases of mitosis are not expected to be known, but you should have a general trend about what happens during the cell cycle. All right, I hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to everybody soon.